Hi everybody, it's Jeanette. So today we're gonna to be talking about spaghetti squash and this is what it looks like. They usually come a little bigger, but I bought a small one. The label will say spaghetti squash. So if you have any doubt, just read the label. I love this, it's a great veggie. Uh, it has a lot of nutrients. It's low in calorie, gluten free, and it's zero carbs. So this is a great alternative to pasta. So pretty much, uh, they're a little bit difficult to cut. So I'm gonna cut off both ends. And like I say, usually the hubby does this for me because <laughs> it's hard. There we go. Not my best skill. I'm a little short, so I'm sure the professional chefs are killing my style, but I got it done. So here we go. So you are going to scoop all the seeds out, and you can save the, the scoops for late, uh, the seeds for later, and you could roast them like you would pumpkin pumpkin uh, seeds. So we scooped all the seeds out. We're going to place it face down. Uh, I have a baking dish with some parchment paper. This is kind of small, so I'm only going to leave it there for 30 minutes. Uh, I set the oven at 375 degrees. Uh, if you have a bigger one, then you can go up to 45 minutes. You can always check to see if it's ready. All right, so after being in the oven 30 minutes, I let them cool off a little bit. They're still a little bit hot. Uh, this is what it's going to look like. And literally, you just get your fork and there is your spaghetti squash. So here, now you've uh, got your spaghetti squash and now it's up to you to use whatever recipe that you would like. Simplest thing, you get some organic marinara sauce, put it, across, uh, put it all, all on top of it and you're done. And now here you have a delicious spaghetti squash that's good for you. Please feel free to share with your friends and family who need a new side dish.